Hey, hey everyone, and welcome back to the Paradox Machine. We are back in more Elden Ring today, and today we have some things queued up on the map that we're gonna be taking care of, some things that we're gonna go ahead and try to explore just a little bit. Um, before we jump into that, we're gonna discuss the build because I did modify the build just a touch. Um, doo -doo -doo, I did, let's see, where did I, bum, 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 bum. there we go, okay, I got lost a little bit. So we are running the Blasphemous Blade. This is a, a set that I kinda got a little bit of inspiration for uh, just, you know, browsing the interwebs and stuff, but I've kind of modified it a little bit to fit me a little bit. Uh, so we're gonna be using the plus 10 Blasphemous Blade, of course, cause it's awesome. Uh, we're still rocking the seal. We're still uh, rocking our Erdtree Great Shield, which I'm thinking I might want to fully upgrade. I don't know. Um, I don't use it. Its skill is often to really even justify it, but we'll fit. But we'll figure that out. Uh, I did change my armor set. We'll go over the, uh, take a look at that here in just a second. Uh, just going for some drip. Not really looking for you know any kind of real benefit out of it. The only thing we're rocking for benefit is probably the Royal Remains Helm because. It'll get us a little bit of health regain, um, which is kind of nice. Um, but for the talismans, we're rocking the talisman of dread that raises the potency of magma. Magma, the potency of magma skills will in fact um, help the blasphemous blades. Ash of war. We're, we're rocking the fire scorpion charm because that will also help. Uh, Shard of Alexander will give us a little bit of extra ash of war damage, and we are rocking the uh, the faith two fingers heirloom heirloom talisman because this weapon does in fact scale with faith fairly well with a B scaling and face, so that'll help with our damage a little bit. Lassans, welcome to the stream, my friend. Um, so we got all of that done, um, and I will get you the exact numbers in case anybody actually wants to pay any attention to this build and try to, you know, give it at their own uh, little flair, or if they just want to test it out. Um, give me one second for that. Uh, but the drip, look at this set, dude. I'm really liking the way this armor's looking. It looks pretty cool. I can't complain about it at all, but uh, let me grab i had this in the discord i posted about the other day because i did all the math um well, where are you Do... all right so with the magma talisman what do we call it there this one here, Talisman of the Dread, that is a 14% increase. The Shard of Alexander is a 15% increase. The Fire Scorpion is 12% increase. And then with our Incants, uh, we'll be using Golden Vow, which is another 15%, and Flame Grant Me Strength, which is another 20%. Then Flame Shrouding Tear and the Flask of Physic, that will get us 20%. Um, and with all of that added up, that's a 96% increase in the damage that we're going to be seeing from this uh, weapon's Ash of War, which is a little bit insane considering how much damage it already does. I've done a little bit of testing, and I was seeing numbers is uh, high. I was only doing Omen Killers, so I don't know how it would do against a boss, but... The Omen Killers, I was doing like 5,700 damage per hit with it, which is just absolutely asinine. It's it's a little bit insane how much damage it is actually doing. Uh, okay, but with all that said, we've gone over the numbers, we've gone over the new setup. Uh, I'm kind of liking it. Now let's take a look at the map. So I was exploring, doing some testing just around Fort Reprimand because if you go to the behind the fort side of Grace, you're basically right next to an Omen Killer. So if you're looking to farm some runes, that's a good spot. Gets you 5,000 runes in about, I don't know, 10 seconds. It's kind of nice. Um, uh, I did find this though, as I was running around the Bonnie Jail. I missed it somehow. I don't know how. I was just kind of roaming around this area. I think I went across this bridge and it was just down over there, a cave that I just completely missed. So we're gonna be hitting that up. And then where else was it? Um, this area right here. Um, this. Now, if you remember, we went through this when we came up over here to these catacombs. There's that little canyon gully thing. And over here, there's these two bridges where all those guys were throwing firebombs down at the fire barrels and trying to blow the shit out of us. I found a way down. There's a side of grace right here that I went to and just looked down. And you can, in fact, drop down the cliffs to get down to over here. So I did that. And as soon as I got into it, I realized it was an actual thing, like an actual feature to do. So I just decided, you know, better not do this off screen. We'll go ahead and do that in a moment. Um or in the next stream. And then we still have this thing over here. Uh, I believe this is the wicker basket. I think 
we can probably craft enough of these things now if i'm lucky uh oh no we need these ones okay so we need ember of mesmer i don't have any of those oh uh, well i have one i don't know where the hell to get them though um and we only have four visages so what we can do is use these i know these do a lot more like i think you can kill one of those basket deals the fire basket deals and like two or three with these but i think it's five if you're using hefty fire pots so we'll probably do that so let's go ahead and just craft a whole bunch of them right now boom we got them we're good to go we have more than enough stuff to make those we'll go ahead and give that a shot if not then i guess we're gonna have to go farm for the ember of mesmer don't know where um but that's kind of the plan going forward today oh so it says sadly for me i'm currently blasting my way through dark souls remastered again you <laughs> it's nerdy sorcery i mean sorcery is not that bad dude i mean it's not the best i'll give you that it's there's definitely more fun um but you know it's not horrible um okay so let's see if we can get there from here i don't know if you can i don't think i can i think i have to go over here yep we're gonna have to go to the village then we're gonna go down to the jail then we'll go over to the fort then we'll go kill the basket and if we still have enough time for there then we can always start making our way to the legacy dungeon that we have been avoiding because i'm scared of making progress too quickly so let's head on this way i believe this was the path that i took yeah it is because i was i remembered we had never come south before and all of the stuff we've been doing we have yet to come south so south seemed like the best idea where was it it was right up against here over here somewhere oh shit the scorpions there it is i see it just for fun let's kill this scorpion thing See 4k right there. One's hit. One hit. Damn, that's a juicy hit. Oh, did you? You always still visited the, the finger runes? Also, you visited the finger runes. Oh, okay. Finger runes. You mean the two fingers in the round table? Hold on, I'm confused. Didn't even get the grace in here. Do -do -do. Do I have a new... Don't forget to visit the Finger Ruins? Are you talking about the, the thing in the round table hold? The Remembrance things? What's going on? Uh, I'm confused. Do I have a new Remembrance? I don't know if I do or not. Have we... I don't... Did we look at this? I did. Yeah, we did. We had the sword available for pickup and a sorcery, right? I should probably rest just to have all my stuff at 100%. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, going down to a cave. Hopefully this takes us somewhere cool. Finger ruins in the realm of shadows. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about way over here, right? Yeah, finger ruins of Rhea. Rhea? Rhea. Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. Now I don't feel like such a jackass. People don't like pots in this game, I suppose. Look, look meaty boys over here throwing shit at me. Can I reach them from here? 3631, you must be a little bit immune. That was 15k, or 1500 on uh, one just jumping hit. Wasn't even a full charge, nice. You thought you were hiding. Oh! Hyper armor on that skill, too. I just noticed. That's nice. Good lord, those dungeons are where the pots are actually made. I think you told me that already? I'm not sure. I, I knew that. I don't know if you told me or someone else did. Let's just make sure. There is a drop down right there. Let's see if we can open this gate and where it's going to take us before we jump down there. Can't open it. Is it a dead end, though? Bro. Oh, come on. Tap, 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 tap. This is a bit freaky. All right. Um, 
don't know where I want to go. Do we want to go down this hole or let's go to the other one first? Do not know. Let's go down here. I think this is probably the best bet. I don't know how far this will take us down, but. I've not been in here. Interesting. Not here. No east. Okay, cool, guys. You have an egg. Also, have you taken a look at the description of the Talisman of the Dread? Um, I probably have at some point, but let's do it now. Oops, not what I was going to do. Uh, do, 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 do. Talisman depicting the Dread Dragon of the Jagged Peak, whose roars cause the peak's molten fury to boil and churn. Bale was the foul dragon's name, a terrible harbinger of destruction whose challenge to the ancient dragon lord ended in the grievous mutual injury. Okay. So is that like a depiction of Bale then? Okay. I need to be careful if I remember correctly here because these chains will screw up your jumps. Oh. Oh my. Does it keep going down? No? Okay. Oh! Bro really wanted to get it. This is a bad spot. Mm, this screams ambush over here. Yep. Nope, nope, nope. Dude. Here we go. Hefty cracked pot. Wonderful. This is worth coming down here for. Actually really was. Innered meat. Delicious. It's my favorite kind. Now, can we get back up there or do we have to go elsewhere? I don't know who this dude is swinging at, but he was mad about it. Frozen maggots are delicious. Favorite. Attacking required ahead. Well, I feel lied to. No loots up here. Okay. Like, it looks like... Why is it always decoy chaos ahead? Hmm. Uh, bum, bum, that talisman is a depiction of Bale the Dread, and it's telling you that he fought Placidusix, where both got hurt very badly. Makes sense. Oh, it does come down. I. Okay. I did not know it would do that. Now we know. And knowledge is power. Okay, now we can go this way. Was it this way? Yeah, it was this way. Let's jump down the hole and hope to God it's not an ambush. Okay, it looks like we have two ways we can go. Let's go check this way. Watching out for ambushes around these corners because I don't trust Elden Ring. Like that. I almost missed that rap. couple of rats in here. I was really hoping he'd catch that. But I am healed. I love the healing. Bale's the reason why Placidusex looks like he looks right now. Battered wings, missing heads. Pieces of Bale missing. Oh, damn. Bale's vicious, then. I did not know that was a hole. That's kind of nice. Can I break these? I cannot. Can I get over there? Am I missing something? 
Mm, don't want to go backwards yet. So that's where we found that thing. Okay. Interesting. Ladders. Okay. So we got a ladder here. What? Why did my message disappear? Shit. I was going to read that. I'm being trolled by messages that are just disappearing. Didn't expect bug. Hell, oh, you mean didn't expect bug? There's no bug. I feel lied to. Let's make sure there's nothing down the other path. You should look how Bale looks like. I think he picked the shortest straw in the fight. Yeah, maybe. I mean, Placidusix was no... No joke. That thing was vicious. It wasn't as hard as what... It probably could have been. Ah, let go, let go, let go, let go. I'm going to get this health back and you're not going to like the way I do it. I promise. Get out of there. Get out of there. You once again proving that the Blasphemous Blade is one of the best weapons in the game, period. Let's go this way first. Lots of shit. God, I love this sword. I kind of get why people said the Blasphemous Blade is basically playing Elden Ring on easy mode now. Don't know if I fully agree with that sentiment, but it does make life a lot easier. Just saying. Ah. Hi. Give me back my health. Thank you. You did way too much damage to me there, and I'm not a fan. Dude, how much health am I regaining with this helmet, though? Apparently not a lot. Okay, we could jump down here now. But I think we go up that ladder that was over in the other direction first, right? If I'm not already lost. God, this place is confusing. Uh, the ring scythe from the clean rot naughty is very good. Halo scythes are great, dude. The halo scythe is probably one of the better weapons, if I'm being real. So I know where we are now. Let's go ahead and heal just for the sake of being at, you know, moderately full health. But yes, the Halo Scythe is very good, Lassans. It unfortunately doesn't usually scale with the skills that I like. Because it's a, a deck scaling weapon, if I remember correctly. Still good. I think it could be better. Okay, so that goes up that way. Ooh, loot. Stalwart horn charm. What do you do? Vastly raises robustness. That's going to be something that affects poise, most likely. 1% change of the dropping from those wielding the scythe. Yep, I have it. In fact, it is uh, not easy to farm. And if you're running a dex build that does holy damage, then it's not bad. Worth it. 
it took me a minute to get it. Um, I don't know. I probably... I've farmed it twice now. Um, in this save file, I farmed it. And then... I farmed it also in the the save file I lost that I did for YouTube and it took a minute. Okay, so this is the only way left to go. Faith Dex was your original plan? I don't know if I've ever played that combination before. I can see it being moderately good. Okay, we've got loot up there. This is going to be something that pops up, isn't it? How did I know? Hey, bro, guess what? I killed Alexander. I am wearing a piece of him, in fact. What's up, RPG? Welcome to the stream, dude. Thirty four hundred damage on that. Once again, I love this sword. I love this skill. I love everything about this build right now. Die, little jars. I need to be careful. These things are deadly when they get together. They don't seem like a lot because they're small and then, you know, they get mad. Oh, you're going to spin the wind. Faith and strength is awesome, dude. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Paladin builds are just fun. You get incants, and on top of that, you get to use the Unga Booga weapons. Lost Ash of War. I don't think I've ever actually used the Lost Ashes of War. Need to figure out how to get up to that. Can I get up here like this? Negatory. Hmm. Uh, two frost hammers is all you need? Exactly, dude. I saw some of your YouTube videos earlier today. That double thump setup you got going on, dude. I'm liking it. All the poise break in the world that you could hope for. That Rage King is hyped because of the latest uh, Ark Survival Evolved update for the Switch. Uh, what did they do? They add more stuff or did they just make shit better? I knew that was a trap. Don't do it. Oh, you turned me. Hyper Armor says, fuck you. I just saw something move. What was that? Is that the water? I panicked there. I won't lie. Oh no, I'm out of mana. And by mana, I mean FP because we're playing Elden Ring. Did you add a new map, a new dino that spawns now on the starter map? Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Got in here. Raw dumpling meats, nice. We jumped down into this room. Yeah, from right there, right? And then it exploded from over here. Because there was, yeah, there was an ash on this body. That's right. Okay. I got turned around for a second. That was a little bit freaky deaky. Goddamn barrel people. That's what they're, they're not, they're not uh, giant pots anymore. They're barrel people. That's what I'm going to call them. You can break an enemy with two hammers. <laughs> can have infinite poise. Yeah. Especially those giant smashers that you're rocking, dude. Those things are beefy. Papa Smurf, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Bro. Quit. 
surprisingly, the Blasphemous Blade has decent poise break too. Like, not bad. Like, it's certainly not the best I've ever used. I'm pretty sure the Envoy Longhorn actually has better being a great hammer, but I mean, this isn't bad. The Dino is Rhino Goth. Rhinognatha, a giant flying insect that is tall and strong enough to carry a T-Rex around. That's, that's a, that's a big ass bug. I mean, damn. See, I still feel like I'm missing shit because it was that loot that we'd never got to. Bale got broken too, though he's a ridiculous fight. Yeah. I'm both excited and horrified about that fight. I, everywhere I look, people are talking about how fucking hard that fight is. We might have to go and find another way to that loot if we can't find it. I don't know. Maybe we'll loop back around it. I guess go forward and see what happens, right? No drop downs here. Nope. What does the message say? Behold Elden Ring. Yes, behold it. The Elden Ring that is not here. Loot! I was halfway, as soon as I walked into that little room, I halfway expected it to slam shut on me and something horrible to happen. Elden Ring makes me distrustful of everything. Multi-kill! I don't throw rocks at me. Uh, but the way to get one yourself is annoying. <laughs> Isn't that just the story of most video games like that? It's just annoying. I don't know why I keep coming into these. Every single time I do, I'm like, something bad's gonna happen. Something bad's gonna happen. Be wary of right. Well, thank you. I was wary. If only I had a master. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you see that ghost there? Look at that dude. <laughs> that's funny. That that's really good. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. If you insist, I don't have the right. Some people's kids, I tell you guys, that shit was funny. I hear it. Okay, right here. What the hell just fell down right there? Am I the only one that saw that? It looked like something... fell from right out here through this door. Weird. Is that like lower or something? Um, try up. Okay. Well, I'm going down, so you try up. Stay on that pot. Okay. Oh, we're going way up. Hey, Luke. Ooh, Helm of Night, Armor of Night, full set of night. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the new drip. Didn't mean to do that. Let's do this first. All right, so this shit's probably gonna be heavy, actually. Oh, not too bad, actually. Bottomless black helm, cool to the touch. Flowing lines in the seeming shape of fingerprint adorn the surface and prisons the wearer in utterly dark, lightless dark. Okay. Bestowed upon those born deep underground, ordaining them as sword hands of night. Hmm. You got Sauron's armor? That's kind of the way I was thinking. Like, it that, it has that vibe, doesn't it? Let's see if we can wear it all. It looks like it's probably mid... T. 
tier, like weight size, and poise armor. But if the drip is right, I'm probably gonna wear it. Yeah, 26 poise. It looks cool, so I think we're gonna rock it for a while until it starts getting us killed. Uh, what did you think of the Placidus Axe fight? I mean, none of the dragons were overly hard for me. Like, they all present a little bit of challenge. Shield of Night. This is a Dex shield? Dex scaling shield. Revenge of the Night. We'll check that out in a second. 60% physical negation. For me, it's missing a cape. Oh, the, oh, the armor? Okay. Yeah, we'll read it in just a sec. I'm just checking out the stats of sons. Um, a shield awarded to the sword hands of night cast in bottomless black from which no light can escape. That's cool. It's a black hole. The outer surface is only semi-corporeal, providing reliable defense against attacks that are not physical in nature. So this is like a block magic shield is what I'm reading here. Revenge of the Night unleashes the dark of night imbued with magic power. If used immediately after blocking an incoming attack, its power is absorbed, bolstering its strength, the strength of this skill. It's like a little tiny buckler, okay. Interesting. Return to Sender Shield? Yeah, kinda, right? It looks cool, though. The, the weird smoky surface, the ethereal looking shit. I like that. That's pretty neat. We have one Cerulean Flask left. We might have to consider rethinking our flask allocation here. Just saying. Um. Okay. I got nervous for a second. I thought I was dead. Because we're getting plenty of health, uh, health regen just from killing things with this sword, you know? So, ooh. Ooh. Everybody wants to play. Ow. Not friendly. I don't like you. And good night. See, we're getting our health back fairly easily, but FP, I'm starting to find myself short on a lot. That grab animation is so does it is. It really is, Lasans. It's not something that I would want to personally have coming at me, that's for sure. Is it hand or is it penis? I don't know. Oh, God. Bro. That attack is the one that worries me. That one hurts. Okay, the thing is... Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to use all of my buffs for this boss fight because I still want to be able to use the Ash of War and we don't have any more Cerulean Flash, so... We're just going to go for the Physic. 
I'm not even going to use a summon. We're just going to see what this Astro Board does without all of our buffs. Unfortunately. <laughs> um, no. This is a bitch and a half. Bro. Well, there's that. Jesus. Uh, you're fighting sweaty testicles. <laughs> Not wrong. All right, now we can go into it full buff, I suppose. Bonnie Jail. All right, let's go. Flame grant me strength. Golden Vow. Lovely. Wondrous Physic. Let's go ahead and use this so we can use our summon. Then we'll have two flasks after that. Shadow of the Bay Beyblade. Yeah, dude, that's exactly it. Fuck, bro. Like, it's not that serious. It doesn't need to be, at least. What's my summon doing? This thing is not awesome. Like, historically unawesome. Oh my god! How much damage was that? Someone tell me. Answer yes. <laughs> I just nuked that dude with one taker's flame. Oh my god. Ah, Curse Blade Mira. Uh, let's take a look at that real quick. I should have got my runes before we did that. I two tapped him. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Scott. Oh, thank you for the Zeddy Pop the Smurf. I appreciate it, dude. Oh my god, I completely fucking nuked that dude. <laughs> so much damage. Okay, you cost 91. That's kind of pricey. Uh. Not horrible. Let's see. Uh, Ash remains in which spirits yet dwell. Used to summon the spirit of Curseblade Mira. Attacks immediately after being summoned. That's nice. Curse blades appear to dance when they spin their shimmering circular blades. These aesthetics who failed to become like. These aesthetics. OK, whatever. Who failed to become uh, tutelary deities were a scourge uh, for those who attempted to invade the Hornsent homeland. OK, the Hornsent probably really hates these guys. And long ago, before the land was overshadowed by invasion, this scourge was shunned and the curse blades were imprisoned. It was during this confinement that Mira met Labyrinth. And upon her death, Labyrinth was plunged into a devastating darkness. Neat. That was even more impressive than me uh, beating Knight Taurus without taking damage. Damn. I don't know about that, dude. Zombieland rule, double tap equals check. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's just double check. Sometimes there's stuff inside these are little boss rooms that... Let there be flower. Okay. Time for edge. Dude, are you guys edging in here? Just stand in the corner like... Nah. Just stand in the corner. Don't don't judge me. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Ah, uh, two tap the enemy. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, epic dude. Good to see you, man. Can't wait to fight Atorius with you one day. Yeah, dude, we will get there eventually, I promise. I don't know why I'm out here killing these dudes. We can just teleport back to the beginning. How are you, Epic? You doing good, dude? Uh, I'm joining Discord not too long from now. Okay. All good? That's good to hear, man. That's what we love to hear, in fact. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and remove that. We have the Bonnie Jail. 
complete. Now let's go back over here to the Skadu Altus West side of Grace. I will go do that fort that's right there. Dude, where was this drop off now? I think it's right over here. Was this it? Yes, this is it. I'm down right here. Is it down this way again? Yeah, it's down this way again. Down one more. We've been taking care of a lot of stuff. Now I'm at a good place. Dude, that's awesome. Sometimes you got to do that shit. I get it. 100%. Um... Yeah, there's barrels right next to me, too. We got to be careful down here, especially considering I'm using a fire damage weapon because that shit can get me killed really fast if I'm not careful here. Ooh, I got sketched right there. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Speaking of drop off, did you know that there is a drop off that allows you to fight Radon before you get to the Altus Plateau? I didn't know Radon was in Altus Plateau, so no, I did not. Blow up all the things. Oh shit, I heard that. I heard that. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Hyper armor wins, and then I get all my health back. Um, Terran threw some FP though. I should probably be careful with that. Is there any loot in here? Doesn't look like it. See, I need to be careful here, because if I swing and hit those barrels, I'm dead. Um... That's the way to do that shit. Oh, no. You don't have ancestral spirit horn. The armor piece, the headpiece for armor. I might have it. Why? Do 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 do. It's another one of our PGBs and paradoxes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we haven't had a decent banter in a while, have we, RPG? We need to find a topic to argue about again in the Discord. It'll be fun. Uh, that bridge would not have lived. <laughs> you might be right, you know? Um, I have my summon out. I just realized that. Oh, this goes down? Do we want to go down or across first? There's loot down there. Talisman restores his pee on killing enemies. Oh. Let's see. I know I picked up something that actually does raise FP regeneration. I don't know what it was, though. Raises poise. That could be good. It's from base game. Okay. Critical hits restore FP. Not really doing the crit hit thing, though. Let's see, where would it be? 
I would think that I would have it. I don't know. You don't have it? No! Well, I'll have to go back and find it, but I know I found something. That could be good. Lower the FP consumed by skills. Lowering it could be good, but regaining's better. Hmm. Increases damage taken. Oh, that's awesome. I need that in my life. Slowly restores HP. Slowly restores FP. Hmm. It's from the Ancestral Deer. Main fight. Is it a remembrance thing? Because I did kill that thing. Let's throw this on and just see how that does. Oh, it is going up. Not a whole lot, but, you know, it is. Oh, there's a big dude in there. I see you. I see you. Oh, you're a boss. Okay, what the fuck? dead what the fuck bro black knight garu dude that was annoying i was not expecting that 100 percent was not expecting that to be a boss fight nor was i expecting to have like fucking extend a glaive on me what in the hell was even that here I am dicking around with my build, just having a grand old time, and bro's over here like, nah, you're gonna pay for everything you've never done. Let's see if I can do this. Ah, oh, I was hoping it was gonna blow all those barrels up. That would have been amazing. Mesmer Soldier Axe. I'll have to check those out. I haven't looked at any of those basic weapons. Use those explosives. I might just do that. If Well, I mean, there's really not a lot of them over there, is there? The problem is, is I really just did not expect that to be a boss fight, if I'm being honest. So there is that. Um, let's go ahead and pop that. We'll go ahead and pop Tish. Hope Tish doesn't become a dickhead about things. I have flame grant me strength. Golden Vow. We're going for big money damage right now. Forty three hundred. 13 even with the shield up. Oops. Um. Not entirely sure I understand how that happens, but all right. Down. Oh, we got you anyways. Your ass is mine. Now you are shiny. Yes, I am. I am so shiny. Whoa, where did you come from? Black steel great short. No, oh, great shield. Nice. Get him, Tish. Show him who's boss. Mm, that's a lot of explosives. I see a lot of bad things happening here if I'm not careful. I'm going to just be very careful with that, actually. Let's uh, blow all of it up.
Is there anything that's gonna try to blow me up here? I don't trust this place. It's so scary. Tish is a giant. I just noticed that. Like, Tarnished are actually pretty tall. But look at Tish. Jesus. Why, why is Tish so big? Ooh, box. Uh, smithing stone seven times eight. Damn, eight sevens. I like it. Uh, do, 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 do. But, uh, there together, but it would vanish as soon as... Oh, okay. You're talking about a uh, multiplayer in Dark Souls. Ah, I understand. Let's go down now. Ooh, not that fast, though. Like, we'll go the slow way. Just get my lantern on, too. I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. So... Tish, go do some shit. <laughs> my flamethrower's better. <laughs> shit. That was funny. Sometimes I love this game. Sometimes I hate it. Don't get me wrong, but... Sometimes it's amazing. Hi. Only whole bitches throw shit. I see that thing. Oh, no. Hyper Armor says fuck you. Oh, shit. Oh, it was Tish. Okay. Uh, Bless Bone Shards. Okay. I don't know what those are for yet. Serpent Flail. We got a couple of cool things we need to check out. So, um... Who are you? Mesmer's Soldier Spear. This is uh, going to be a deck scaling weapon. Um, this looks like a strength scaling. Axe standard. Okay. And the Great Shield. Black Steel Great Shield comes with Shield Bash. 100% uh, physical negation. It does look cool. It does look cool. Um, guard Boost 69. Not bad either. That either. And it's not even leveled. Okay. That could be cool. Serpent Flail. Flare O Serpent is what it comes with. This is a Dex weapon. Looks like it's gonna have some scaling with faith and everything though. Interesting. Dex Faith Scaling. Interesting. I flail with coiled snakes for a bludgeoning head. Fire roars within the snake's bodies, inflicting horrible burns. Some of Mesmer's army use these flails to burn horn scent to brand them with agony and fear. Unique skill, Flare of Serpent. Ignites a flame inside the snakes, temporarily empowering flame attacks. Once ignited, strong attacks and other moves that strike the ground will cause an explosion. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. I need 24 decks to use it, though. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. It's kind of cool, though. I do want to play with it. Just see what it does. Maybe maybe we'll respect and give it a try at some point after we get through the DLC and all of its fun stuff. If you think the Tisha's Hall, take a look at Renal. Oh, I know. Renal was a fucking giant, dude. Tallest lady in all of history. All right, so Fog Rift Fort is officially done. Wonderful. All right, that only leaves for the, the stuff that we were 100% going to try to do this basket, bro. Which I think we can probably do. If not, it's going to suck, but we're going to try it anyways. Unfortunately, basket, bro. Requires some level of accuracy with these stupid pots, and I'm not overly great with them. We're going to throw that on, and we'll throw this on. No, we're going to throw that on there, and then we'll throw the other one on. Just in case we need a little bit of extra damage. Giant flame, bro. Damn there. Okay. Let's, um... Just get the hefty ones ready so that we can jump up there. And with all luck, um, maybe we can just start throwing shit at it. God damn, I really 
really, really don't want to have to do this. This thing was a pain in the ass. Like, everything about this was annoying. I take it back. This isn't the most annoying one that we've done so far. The one over by the Legacy Dungeon is the most annoying one. Because that thing fucked me up royally. Alright. Get off, Corrin, real quick. Ah, see? You're already on that dumb shit. Let's get up here so we have a place to run. Like, why do you gotta do this to me? Yeah, I get what I'm supposed to be doing, RPG. It's just this thing doesn't want to cooperate with me, and that's annoying. Let's get it to be daylight, because I can't handle the, the weird lighting here. I think I'm missing getting it into its head, if I'm being real. Gotta be careful, though, because I can't run out of the head. Well, you got plenty of those things, I think, for right now. You see basketball is in my game? No, dude, I'm, I'm a mathlete, not an athlete. You missed like three times yet? Yeah, I know, I know. You guys don't gotta point out all my flaws, come on. I get it, I missed. You're good at math, too. Well, aren't you just, like, the most special of the special kids? Damn it. This dude's a whole bitch. I had that one shot, and then he was like, nope, denied. Did I not use one? I didn't, did I? I didn't even use one. Yeah, he really did. He was like, I'm, I'm nah, I'm gonna jump. <laughs> Just fuck you, I'm jumping. Use torrent. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't think a torrent. Thank you. Well, I did kind of think a torrent, but not as a means to, you know, expedite getting back to him. I thought maybe, you know, use him to escape, not as a tool to attack. Mm, that could uh, make things easier, I suppose. does so much damage. Oh my god.
Don't do it. I'm dead. There we go. Ooh! Cerulean Sapping Crack Tear. And Furnace Visage. Nice. If you had Furnace Pots, you could kill them with three shots. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have all the shit I need to make those. Great Scott! Urgh, again! Papa Smurf, thank you, dude. You're ever so generous, my friend. All right, let's go ahead and use some of these runes since uh, I've collected a fair amount of them at this point. Um, what is my shadow rune build? Um, nine, not bad. Um, level up. What do we want to level up? We could go faith. We could go strength. Um. We go faith right now. I want to get my faith up to 60, then strength up to 60, and then we can start pumping some other shit. Um, equipment, I'm going to remove these for now. We don't need them on there, and it'll just kind of screw some shit up. Do -do -do. All right, so. From the looks of things, we've cleaned up this whole Skidoo Altus area fairly well. Like everything south of this uh, village right here seems to be complete. So I think the only thing really left to do is this and then head into here, right? Like that's all I can think of. Um, let's go up to here and then come down to see if we can get that basket bro to come down. It would be fun if you would summon a mimic and then realize you have the pots equipped as soon as the mimic throws one. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't want to go in. I want to go down, right? Down. Down is the place to go. Have I activated this? I have not. Let's activate this. I don't know why. I don't ever really intend on doing multiplayer in this game. I don't know. I might do some dueling at some point. The finger ruins. I will not. Thank you, the Sans. That's the next area over. We haven't really done a lot there yet. I kind of... Well... Let's do this first, and then we'll decide if we go into the Legacy Dungeon or if we go there. Because I'm not entirely sure. Trying to figure out what exactly what I want to do here. Oh, Ember of Mesmer. Nice. We needed those. Like, I want Basket Bro to come this way. Let's go up this way. Maybe that'll... Do you want to know something interesting? Um, sure. Why not? Tell me something interesting. Hi, Pewfer... Pew Perfumer, Jesus, I can speak. God, there's a few of them over here, isn't there? Boat. Fuck you and your bubbles. Where are you? Bubbles. Furnace fidges? Oh, they can. That's kind of good. 
perfumer shield. Is that all that's over here? I was hoping there'd be some kind of loot, like in a tent or something, but apparently not. I want to kill the basket over here, but I don't want to go and like piss off everything in the encampment. Let's see if I can sneak up and stab this dude. These guys are dangerous. Jesus and I hate you. Hyper armor says fuck you. Apparently not enough though. Jesus, dude. It ain't that serious. I want your weapon. Where do I get one? I didn't mean to get the guy behind you, but cool. I'm not mad about it. These guys have poise for days, too. Oh, shoot with a bow at it. Why would I want to do that? That sounds like a horrible plan. That actually does not sound like a good plan, Lasan. Like, you want me to shoot basket, bro, with an arrow and see if it does anything? Because I am 90% sure it'll just go, mm, fuck a you. And next thing I know, the whole camp will be following it. Because that's how this game is. You try to get the attention of it. You think you're doing something smart. And next thing you know, you have a whole damn village of people trying to murder you. Welcome to Elden Ring. Yeah, I figured that's what you meant, Lasans. It just, you know, it doesn't ever work that way. Never. You think you're being smart. And then you find out real fast you're not. Do it. You guys are having way too much fun with the idea of me getting destroyed. I'm going to try to get all the way up here and get behind people. Because if I can get behind them, I can do the sneaky, sneaky attacks and be like, ah, we're playing so calm. Got this big ass dumb motherfucker over here. Big ass weird bow glaive looking thing. Jesus. Since when do insect glaives exist in Elden Ring? No one else is mad about it? Bro. Ooh. We'll look at that in a second. You can aggro him just getting near him. I know I can. I'm just mm, don't want everything following him. That's the problem. Oh, your dudes are not paying attention. It's not a matter of if I can aggro him. It's a matter if I can do it without everything coming with him. Because I don't want to try to fight that thing with all of these dudes following, you know? Where the hell did you jump from, Bunny Hops? Jesus. Not the way I saw that going. That works. Everybody else still oblivious? Sounds like it. He'll annihilate everyone for me. See, I like the way that sounds in theory, but once again, I'm trying to be cautious here. Because I'm tired of dying in Elden Ring. Ah, oh, I missed the backstab. Oh, well. I'm actually kind of surprised I got all the way up here and I'm working my way back down without aggroing the entire damn village. Let's see if I can get this way and do it. No one down here. I don't think I can do all these guys over here. Maybe I can. This guy. And then dude's gonna get mad about it. Oh my god. It wasn't that serious, my dude. I'm dead. Fuck!
Now, I guess we're doing it live. Shit. Here I was, all like strategic and sneaky sneaky, and then nope. Now I gotta go all the way back over there. Well, let's take a look at that. Actually, doo -doo -doo, where is it? There it is. Twin steel, uh, black steel twin blade. Spinning slash is what it comes with. This is gonna be everything with this seems to want a scale of faith. Neat. Does holy, physical. The way it looks just from the attributes. This is going to be primarily a, a quality weapon. Skill favored by dexterous warriors. Slash foes as your body spins. Additionally, additional inputs allow for follow-up attack. Cool. Weapon of the Black, Way, Black Knight's Servant of Mesmer, the Impaler. Twin blade of black steel with decorative embellishments in gold. Blessed with an Erd Tree incantation, further holy imbuement will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. Sweet! Yeah, you could have killed Furtis by taking him out at your own leisure. All right, you know what? You're right. And when you're right, you're right. Oh, so many things. Can't do it here, damn. Guess there's only one thing to do. I go get my runes. I need my runes. And then we'll aggro the shit out of Furnace Boy, I suppose. Oh, your software's working good now. Nice. Just get all the loot and my runes back. Ooh, Golden Vow. Let's see if that is here in a second. You know what? Quit. With the bullshit over here, my dude. Like, we could have been friends, but now we're not, so fuck you. All right, furnace friend, let's do this. Had to give him a good whack, just for fun. All right, enough with the bows. Bows are for bitches. I think he just hit his boy, didn't he? Sounded like he did. Did I actually manage to get that to bait, to bait all those fireballs to come at that dude? I think I did. At least in part. Thank you. You were worth 1900? Damn. Oh, um, yeah, man, because I had two different versions installed. Oh, yeah, that'll do it every single fucking time, dude. Software hates that shit. Dude, is it walking away? Like, it decimated this entire village, and then it's just like, nah, I'm out of here. hoping that would do a lot more than it did, but apparently not. Oh, mid-air catch. Nice, dude. Not really. I don't know why I'm complimenting you on it.
That works beautifully. Opposite the castle, it usually comes out much further. Eh, that's all right. Oh, shit, that wasn't good, though. I need to careful that fire pit. Last time I was around one of those, I ended up in a duel, an invasion or whatever. That was a death, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Nice. There's one. There's two. That was a miss. Swing and a miss. Oh shit, I did not see him raising the leg. That's not good. Oh, that scared me. Too close for that one. Heal, heal. All right, it's not that serious, dude. Like, we can be nice, can't we? I suck at this jumping over the flames shit. Oh my god, I hate these things now. I really do. They're like... Well, give me back... The, the avatar things. The Erd Tree avatars aren't nearly as horrible as these things are. There we go. Took long enough shit. Oh, that was close. Shit, I'm dead. Why do these things have to be such a whole bitch? Like a whole ass bitch.
This one seems like it's taking a lot, and I mean a lot of beating. Well, they couldn't make the DLC easy, but you're not wrong there, and they certainly fucking didn't. Do, 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 do. We're just going to run all the way up over here. We're going to let it get all aggro. Then we're going to bring it back out if we can. But I definitely need my runes back and I'm not going to give them up. So there's that. Oh, you stupid fucking prick. Jesus and I hate you. There they are. You had to do that attack right now and make this, you know, running back towards you thing hard, didn't you? Still hit torrent? That's bullshit. Okay, I've got one broke. That jump, I don't know how to fucking do. tracking on those fireballs might be a little bit bullshit. I mean, I'm not going to confirm or deny, but they might be a little bit bullshit. Clear out and jump. I disagree, sir. Stay near, two leg, get away, gotcha. What is this attack? I haven't seen him do that before. Not multiple times at least. I've seen the crouch and swipe, but. Oh no. I moved backwards as I jumped. That was a big, big no no. I think it was. I should definitely not be right there. Better torrent than me, except no, it didn't work out, did it? And now I'm down to three. I'm 
dead. There we go. Ugh. Lasan's is telling us that he's been inside one of these things before, I think. Damn it. Nope, don't like being on that side of you. is being super stompy. Jesus, chill, bro. That was a mistake. Can't do that. It's exactly where I'd be worried about there. There's two. Is he mad about it? Is he doing the flame attack? What's going on? like that. Shit. Might as well just use it and just be careful. Hope to God that doesn't happen again, but full health is better than no health. Come on, bro. Mistakes are made. I'm dead. Fuck! I need to use a weapon with higher poise break, I think. Let's get out the... the Oonga Boonga stick. I wonder what does more poise break. Mm. Probably that. Yeah. This thing should not be as difficult as it is, but it, it's a it's a real bitch and a half and I hate everything about it. Fuck. I hate these things. They're just not fun to fight, dude. Oh, you have a weapon with more poise breaking capabilities? Yes. Yeah. I was thinking maybe the great sword could do it, but uh, after 
you know, reflecting upon my shortcomings in this fight. It seems to be that hammer might be better. Just use giant stick to hit the damn thing with, apparently. That's the ticket. How dare you, sir? The indignity of it all. I'm gonna get out of the way for a second and let him break up the village before I do this shit. There we go. Uh, I would say this black steel hammer or the anvil hammer. Yeah, I was thinking kind of the same shit. That jump entirely. That was embarrassing. Oh, come on. For Dude's just fucking chain stomping like a prick. I would like nothing more than to see these things eradicated from the world. Like, is that, a, is that an objective? Is that a goal we can make in the game? Just... Fucking giant basket people have been completely fucking destroyed. They will never be seen again. Like, I'm talking like straight out fucking extinction level event here. You dick. Was close. Look, just let me get my runes and then we can worry about this sh I just lost 198,000 runes because this thing fucking kicked me like a soccer ball. <laughs> I thought of that too, Lasans. I did. I don't know. Doesn't matter anymore. I've just lost all my runes, so I don't give a fuck at this point. We're just gonna go and smack the shit out of its legs, apparently. I don't know if we need to worry about the strength of the charge attack, though. We're not looking for damage, we're looking for poise damage. I'm not sure what it's doing there, but I'm not a fan. I have to be honest. Oh, of course. Of course. And I'm stuck. Fuck! Thank you. Three jumping attacks, huh? I need to ca be careful of the fucking chain stomps. Why? Why wouldn't I jump? Yeah, the songs, that's... I just need to be quit being a dumbass is all. 
Like, I've had it nearly dead twice now, and every single time it's because I stop paying attention to what the actual fuck it's doing. Ooh, look, a thing. Excuse me? When did that become a thing? I can't see, and that's a problem. See, like what I'm doing now, I'm being an idiot. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You're still here? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna rip this fucking thing's head off, and then I'm gonna use it to club its mother to death. This game makes me violent. <laughs> that was pretty dark. Yeah, maybe a little bit dark. Maybe just a tad. It was also warranted, so I don't care. <laughs> this thing's annoying. I think this thing actually is like the worst enemy in the game so far. Including the putrescent knight. Like, the putrescent knight was just something I struggled with. This thing is something that's actively just horrible. Fuck you. This one's just annoying. Too early, I'm dead. Fuck! The fire giant was actually... actually easier for me than this thing. I did the fire giant in one fucking fight. Maybe come back to that later? Maybe, I don't know. need three for real shit we're gonna give it one more time i am actually pretty much out of time for this stream but we're gonna give it one more shot i'm gonna try to play like holy shit bullshit care careful with it and try to get the job done i don't know we'll see this thing should not be as difficult as it is and it really isn't, if I'm being real about it. Like, this thing is not that hard, but I'm making it hard because I'm being super paranoid about aggroing everything in the camp, and I really just shouldn't be worrying about that. Let this thing kill everything. And what I'm doing now is a fucking idiot's move because I don't have any runes to pick up, so why am I worried about it? down right on top of me. There we go. 
Damn, that was faster. See, I don't know how to jump that. That was almost bad. That was bad. Why? Why can't I jump right now? Like, I know I'm not out of stamina, so what the hell? Done. Oh, mad. Oh, that was very dangerous of me to do, but it worked. How far does it go? I haven't got a single knockdown on this thing yet. I just realized. On the bright side, I'm pretty sure it's killed everything in the encampment, so there's that. We gonna chain it? Oh, great. Oh, I don't like being right there. Bro, bullshit. Fuck. Using the targeting system in this fight is almost a death sentence. I just kind of came to this conclusion now. Oh no, oh no, oh no, okay, good. <laughs> All you see is ruins, that's kinda, yeah, yeah. That was luck. Oh, that was scary. I, 
got stomped on. Perfect aim, bro. That was two. Oh, I did it. I did it. Stamina recharge faster. See the leg. I'm in trouble. Damn it. Oh, after this fight, remind me to look at my Apple Watch because I want to see what my heart rate's doing right now. It's beating out of my chest. Jesus Christ. My first mistake was an Apple Watch. Nah. I love Apple Watch, dude. My Apple Watch is awesome. Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, yep. All right, bro. This is it for you. <laughs> Apple's back. Nah, Apple's awesome. Check heartbeat. Eighty-eight, which isn't as bad as I thought it would be, but it's still not good. Okay. Now let's go and explore this area real quick, because I'm sure there's a loot in here to pick up. And thank you again for the Zenny, Papa Smurf. I appreciate it, dude. That was hard. That was a hard-ass fight. And I, I, I will be the first to admit, I started to get a little bit tilted there. And by start, I mean I was in full fucking tilt. Like, I was actively mad. Praise the sun, indeed. I'm dead. <laughs> ah, fuck it. <laughs> oh, shit. 36,000 runes. Awesome. Now, wait a minute. This thing was only worth 36,000? That was a fight that takes 20 minutes to do because I'm lame. Did it only get me 36,000 runes? Oh, shit. That's annoying. Oh, well. It is what it is. Let's go get our runes back. And then we're going to head back to the round table hold. I'm going to look at a few things in the round table hold, and that's where we're going to end this stream. But I do need to get my runes back. They're not a lot, but we still need them, unfortunately. At least Big Basket Boy is done, and now in the next room, if we want to come through and properly clear out this encampment, we can without, you know, being destroyed by a giant basket of fire. Because I know I saw some loot around here. Or maybe it was just drops from all these things that were getting nuked. I don't know. Oh, what the fuck? How? How? That was...
quite possibly one of the most infuriating things I've ever experienced. Oh my god. Fucking just giant arrows sticking out of my head. <laughs> uh. Yeah, and so then Dark Souls runes are something. More, yeah, runes are kind of important. Somewhat important, at least. Alright, cool. Let's uh, go ahead and rest at this grace, I suppose. Well, we didn't even have to do that. Let's just uh, head on back. And this is where we're going to start in the next stream is uh, this legacy dungeon, I suppose. We got everything else big in this area, I think, done except that. Um, let's, first things first, where is it? It's up this area. Let's go look at this remembrance shit. Because I want to see something. Um, fire giant. Moog. Yeah, okay, so. Vortex of putrescence launches a world protesting. Yeah, that's a sorcery. And yeah, that was this little the cleaver that we saw. This is the strength and arcane scaling cleaver. Don't think we're going to pick that up, but it does do frost, which is kind of cool. Um. I haven't really even bought any of this stuff. I mean, I guess I could, but like Radon's stuff is always awesome. Ah, eh, screw up. All right, so equipment inventory. Let's go. Um, we got 11 of those down. That's nice. Um, how was that recent? Whatever, whatever. Um, Crimson Burst Dry Tears steadily restores HP of nearby allies for allies for a period of time in mixed physic. Um, okay. Uh, Golden Vow uses FP to increase attack and defense. Um, cool. It's a consumable that does that? Hmm. Interesting. And yeah, we looked at all this stuff. Um, Great Bow, no, we don't care about that right now. Grants attack FP restoring effect in mixed physics. So wait a minute. I can get FP restoring shit from my physic. That's kind of neat. That actually might come in handy at some point. Huh. Seems to suffer a school uh, do soul duplication glitch in Dark Souls Remastered Souls lose their importance. Yeah, that's true. But I like to do things without all the glitches and everything. Um, Hefty oil pot. Okay rocking all that stuff right now. Interesting. Just looking to see if we got anything cool. Mesmer Soldier Axe, don't care about those. Um, I think that's about the rest of it, isn't it? What do you do? All right, whatever. Um, all right. Yeah, this is where we're going to go ahead and call it for today, though, ladies and gents. I have accomplished quite a bit that I wanted to do today. We got all these markers done. We got the jail done. We got the fort done. Giant basket head over here and giant basket head over there. So I think in the next episode. Um, well, let's think. Do we want to come down here before we go up there? That's the question. Um. I don't know. Giant burning toilet face. That is just so goddamn accurate, the sounds. Um, we could come down through here to deal with um, the stuff the dude up here sent us to do. So maybe we do that first. Just to forward that quest line. And then we'll come up into the Shadow Keep and do this area. That sounds like a plan, if you ask me. I don't know if that's the smartest move, but it is the move we're going to make. But with that said, guys, I do got to get going. But before I get going, I want to say thank you to everybody who came out for the stream, especially you guys who stuck around to the end. Thank you so very much. You guys are awesome. You guys once helped me grow this channel, and I cannot thank you enough for it. If you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit the follow button and turn on notifications. Also, if you want to run over to my YouTube channel and check that out, if you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button over there as well. And we do have a Discord server for the channel. If you want to join that, there's a link for that in the chat and down below. That'll take you where you gotta go. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. <laughs>